Hi guys, my name's Kiz. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a makeup get ready with me for my birthday, which is today. Um, I will be turning 26 years old today, and I am not sure what we will be doing. Um, so I think we'll go with a bit of a casual sort of makeup look and see where that takes us. So let's get started. You're going to have to excuse any noises that you can hear in the background because Pudding has found an apple fascinating and is kicking it along the floor. But the first thing that we're going to go in with is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Um, so I got the mini version because I'm cheap. <laughs> and I'm running out of it. So yay, we got a bit out. <laughs> And we'll just be rubbing all of that in across my face. And I find this primer is very good for reducing any pores and just giving a very lovely base. Next I'll go in with my Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer. And I do this first because I find it goes a bit funny on top of my foundation. So, just chuck that on there. A little bit there. And I use this mostly on the areas that I feel I need a bit more coverage. Like on the bottoms of my cheeks and jawline because of redness Ooh. and then I will use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it all in Next I'll be going in with my tried and true Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick. And I had to look up what it was actually called because I just call it a foundation stick. And this one's brand new because I ran out just yesterday and had to pick a new one up. So I tend to pop it on like so. look awesome <laughs> and then I just grab that expert face brush and just blend all of that in I always feel like I can't talk when I am blending foundations and stuff I can talk more when I'm blending eyeshadows and stuff definitely can't talk when I'm doing my eyebrows but that's just me. <laughs> and just take it down the neck. crazy how yellow on the viewfinder this looks because it's definitely not yellow in real life considering I have pink undertones very pink undertones <laughs> all right so that is all nice and blended let's just do like a tiny bit more don't want to look too much like we're wearing a mask <laughs> now do we And 
Next I'll be going in with my Australia's AC On Tour powder contour kit and I will be taking a mixture of these two shades and just contouring out my cheeks and forehead. And it is a touch too dark, but I always blend it out. And then I just take my foundation brush, especially on those cheekbones, and just soften that up. Because they don't make that many contour kits for pale ass people. And one of the colours is too warm and one of them is too dark, so have to make do with what we've got. Next we'll be going in with the Australis Paparazzi Perfect Higher Definition Blush in the shade Screen Siren and it is just so pretty. Look at that colour. So just take that on the cheeks. And I tend to go a tiny bit blending into the contour up there. Next I will be taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light all over my face to set the foundation. Oh my god, it's so windy today. Like, it wasn't windy at all. And then I decided to start filming. And I feel like my roof is going to blow off because of how windy it has just gotten. Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> and just a quick spritz with the Urban K All Nighter just to set that powder into my skin. Let that soak in. And I just feel like that sort of gets everything ready for the brows. And now I'm just going to go quickly do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, brows are all done and pretty even. <laughs> because I don't have a lot of hair it sometimes gets a bit hard to make them completely identical. But I'm quite happy with them. I look a bit scary at the moment without any of my makeup. But let's sort that out now. I'll zoom you in. Alright, nice and close up now, um, I don't know what kind of eye makeup look to do, I think we might use my Stila palette, and then maybe a couple of colours from the Kat Von D Shady Light palette, <laughs> if it doesn't try and attack me, so, let's do one eye. So we'll start with the Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer, which is one of my favourite brushes to start with. And we'll go in with this sort of mauve colour here, down in the bottom. I think it is called Intellect. And I have been absolutely loving this colour lately. And we're just tucking that into the crease, sort of diffusing it out and up. And that'll sort of be the base colour. Next I'll be taking on the Luxe Petite Crease Brush. Uh, this colour here, if I can bring it up to the camera, which is called Understanding. And I will just be taking that just in the outer corner. Just sort of diffusing that into there making a lovely little colour. I 
And to blend that out, I'll take the Lux Crease brush and just blendy blend. Next on the Luxe Smoky Shader from Zoeva, I'll be taking Mugshot here from the Naked 3 palette and just putting that all over my lid. On the Lux pencil brush, I'll take think this cool toned brown from the Kat Von D palette, and I believe it is called Liberatus. And we'll just take that up in here, just in the outer bit, just to make that slightly darker. And then, as always. We will blend like crazy. Blendy, blendy, blend. Next on my Sephora flat liner brush, I will be taking the Maybelline gel eyeliner from Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner and I will just be taking that just along the lash line like so Then on the Zoeva smudger brush, I have a black eyeshadow, so any black eyeshadow, and I just smudge that out. Just to get that bit of definition. Then on my waterline, we'll go for the same colours we've used on the top um, and just sort of smudge out that lash line. So at the moment on the Luxe Petite Crease, I'm taking Understanding from the Scylla palette and just bringing that down. And now I'm taking the pencil brush and taking the shade from Kat Von D's palette, which I can't remember the name of, but it's the Cool Tone Brown, <laughs> and just tucking that in there. And then I'm just grabbing a blender brush with a little bit of the Intellect colour from the Scylla palette and just smudging all of that out. So I managed to run out of storage on my camera, but that's okay. I just did lashes and some mascara and did my other eye while I was waiting for it to all import onto my computer. Unfortunately, however, a storm has rolled in, so the lighting has completely changed, but my background looks really cute now, so not the biggest issue in the world. Um, so I put my hair down and now the only thing that's left is some lips. Um, I'm tossing up between two completely different colours so I've got this dark red from Colourpop which is called Rouge and Bianca from Colourpop. I feel like I want to go the dark colour 
because it's my birthday and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Alright, so I haven't worn this one in a long time as well. And I love the colour Hot Lippies because they are just absolutely so pigmented and just look so beautiful. So this is the finished look. I am really happy with it. I think the eyes go with the dark lips really well and I really love these lashes. They really <laughs> open up my eyes. So I'm really happy with it and hopefully I have really great day today on my birthday. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos from me every Sunday. I tend to upload at some stage on a Sunday. I haven't really worked out what the best time of day to upload on a Sunday is just yet. And yeah, I will see you next week. Bye!